In this video, I explain the differences between the Hum by Colgate and the Quip Smart Electric Toothbrush and give you my recommendation on which brush to choose. Hey, it's John here from Electric Teeth. We assist you in selecting the right dental care products and understanding common dental health care topics. Just before I give you my recommendation, I want you to know that as not or if not more important than the toothbrush itself is how long and how often you brush for and your brushing technique. Linked in the top right corner is our guide to taking care of your teeth. It includes all of the important things that you need to know. And if you're looking to make your oral care more sustainable, there's a link in the description for that too. So then to my verdict and overall recommendation on which brush to go for. Overall, my top pick is the Hum by Colgate. Whilst there isn't a significant amount to choose between these two, I believe the improved cleaning performance and smartphone application of the Hum by Colgate wins out over the Smart by Quip. Where one brush might be better at one thing, the other might be better at something else. Now I do need to put a slight disclaimer here that in this comparison, I'm comparing the Hum by Colgate with removable batteries in comparison to the Quip electric toothbrush. There is also a Hum by Colgate that has a built-in rechargeable battery, but because the Quip Smart is only available with removable batteries, it makes most sense to compare it to the Hum with removable batteries as well. So I will now run through the key differences between these two electric toothbrushes, but if you want more information, there's a full written comparison that accompanies this video linked in the top right corner and video description too. So then to the first difference between these two brushes and it's the handle design. As you can see the Quip is the slimmer of the two handles here whereas the Hum has a much more tapered design. Now I have a copper coloured Quip toothbrush here. That's because I have the original Quip and I've popped the smart motor inside. Typically when you're buying the Quip Smart it comes in either black or white colour options. With the Hum you get three colour options, teal, blue or purple. Both are fairly grippy, although they've got a um, sort of smooth touch to them. They're not too slippy in hand, but there's not lots of gripping points on them. You'll also note that the power buttons are in different positions and the Hum has a LED notification uh, light around the power button um, there as well. So then to the cleaning modes, the Quip Smart has just one cleaning mode, simple, no nonsense cleaning to get you up and running. The Hum battery option on the other hand has two cleaning modes. It is worth noting that the Hum with built-in rechargeable battery has three cleaning modes compared to the two cleaning modes on this Hum with removable batteries. So those two modes on the Hum are a standard sort of normal cleaning mode and a more gentle mode. Uh, if you suffer from sensitive teeth and gums, you may want to use that lesser power mode. Now the Hum offers 20,000 vibrations per minute compared to the 15,000 of the Quip. That means the Hum is the more powerful and that is noticeable in use. You'll also see that the brush heads are different on these two toothbrushes. They're both sonic brush heads, but the brush head on the Quip is about a third larger than that of the Hum. That means that the Hum brush head is a little bit easier to maneuver around the mouth, in my opinion, and get to the tight spaces, particularly at the back of the mouth. The bristle configuration is similar, but a little bit different. There's not a great deal of difference between them. It's not gonna make significant differences to how well they clean. And another point to note on the brush heads is with Hum, you get two included in the box compared to the single brush head that you get included with Quip Smart. So taking a look at the batteries inside of these, both of these are powered by removable AAA batteries. The Quip Smart has a single AAA battery, which is accessed by removing the brush head and then the brush motor. The Hum, on the other hand, is powered by two AAA batteries and is accessed via this screw compartment at the bottom of the toothbrush handle. So the addition of the extra battery in the Hum may account for the extra cleaning power that it offers, so using double the battery power in the Hum compared to the Quip Smart. What is particularly interesting about the Hum by Colgate is that it will give you some battery status information via the smartphone application that it offers. So it gives you an idea of how much power is remaining. Now it's not absolutely perfect, it's not a percentage 
uh, as such, but it gives you a rough steer, whereas you don't get that with the Quip Smart. Now, in both instances, over a typical three month period when you would replace the brush head, these batteries will happily last you that three month period, if not a bit longer. So you don't really have to worry about them running out over a typical three month period, but it's something to bear in mind that you do get a bit more feedback with the Hum. So one of the key features with both of these two toothbrushes is that they are smart. Now both have Bluetooth connectivity and connect to a smartphone application, but where the hum wins out is that it has real time um, feedback and visualization. So it means that you can see on screen as you brush, you're getting your feedback of the position of the toothbrush, which teeth you have and have not cleaned, as well as real time tips on how to improve uh, your toothbrushing, such as uh, rotating the toothbrush head to a 45 degree angle. You don't get that with Quip. Quip is all geared to sync the data post brushing rather than in real time. Now you don't have to use the hum in real time, but that's one of the key selling points or advantages of the hum over the Quip. Now both toothbrushes come with a travel case included in the box. It's fair to say that the one provided with Quip is the most innovative. It's slimmer. It doubles up as a mount for the wall as well. So it slides over the brush head to protect the bristles when in transit, but it does leave the handle exposed. But at the same time, you can remove it and an adhesive pad on the back allows you to attach it to a tiled or mirrored surface and you can mount it up out of harm's way. With the Hum, on the other hand, you get a much more traditional uh, travel case. It's color matched to the brush handle. It will hold the handle and up to two heads. Hinged on the left side, it has a clip on the right to secure it closed. Both provide the protection. Quip is clearly uh, the slimmer and potentially more useful of the two, but the Hum case is perfectly functional and you can actually store an additional brush head in the case if you choose as well. A small thing to note is that the Hum by Colgate will stand upright on a countertop thanks to the flat surface on the bottom of the toothbrush. Unfortunately, you can't do that with Quip because it has a rounded base, so it simply won't stand upright. Now, both of these toothbrushes are available to purchase on a one-off or on subscription. One of the differences around the subscription with these two toothbrushes is that um, Quip subscription includes a replacement battery. So every three months you get a replacement brush head and a replacement battery. With the Colgate, you only get the replacement brush head and not the replacement battery as well. So you need to purchase those batteries separately. Another very small difference between them is at the end of the cleaning cycle, Quip will automatically turn the toothbrush off, whereas Hum will continue to function. So at the end of two minutes, you need to turn that off manually, whereas Quip will have done that for you. When it comes to the warranty with these two toothbrushes, Quip comes as standard with a one year warranty. However, if you subscribe and remain subscribed, that warranty will be um, increased to the life of your subscription. So if you buy the toothbrush and remain subscribed for five years, you'll still have a warranty in five years time. However, if you purchase the Quip without subscription, it would only be valid for one year. Compare that to the Hum by Colgate, and it comes with a two year manufacturer warranty as standard. Although you can subscribe to replacement brush heads, you get no extension to the warranty period whatsoever. And then to the last difference between these two brushes, and that is the price. And to be fair, it's a very minor difference between these two. Quip is available for $45 for the plastic handle and $65 for the metal handle compared to the $49.99 or $50 for the Hum. So not a great deal of difference there. Colgate's brush head subscription is $4.99 every three months compared to the $5 of Quip. So that concludes the differences between the Quip Smart and Hum by Colgate. I do hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. There is a full written comparison that accompanies this video linked in the description below. For more videos like this, click subscribe. And for tips and tricks on how to improve your oral health, watch this video here.